Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Getting Out of Bed with Micah, where I take you along with me on my journey as I grow in discipline through getting up early and starting my day off in a productive, successful way so I can then build on that throughout the rest of my day. Um, so today, uh, it's kind of a weird day. Uh, I'm, I'm working through this issue that I'm kind of running into with this whole, like, getting up early and everything deal because, um, you know, there's some nights that I can't go to bed early you know, because, you know, I have different things going on, and, you know, a lot going on with life and all of that, and so I'm trying to, like, balance this, you know, deal of, of getting up early, but then also going to bed early, and so I think the main thing that I'm running into is a mindset shift that needs to happen, because I honestly feel like if, um, you know, even the times, like, so for instance, last night, um, I got to bed about 11.30, and so I wanted to get up at, like, I figured I'd shoot for like 5.30 because, um, you know, I feel like, you know, realistically speaking, six hours is, you know, enough sleep. Um, but I think that the issue is that, you know, the night before going to bed at like 9.45, 10, like I just felt better about the idea of getting up early. And so when it came time to get up, um, I didn't snooze as long and wait as long and, and all of that. And so I feel like this morning, what happened is I just simply convinced myself that I had a good reason to not want to get out of bed. <laughs> um, and I honestly feel like that if I had snoozed less this morning, um, then it really wouldn't have been that difficult. Uh, so I'm kind of like, this is just something I'm working through, you know, because this is just the deal of, you know, I'm learning how to, how to process these things and how to be walking this discipline in this area of life as I go, and so if I just share um, the, my thoughts and all of that um, as I'm working through this process. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how it plays out. Um, it's kind of the general idea. Um, I find most things in life are about perspective, and so if I can, you know, adapt my mindset to fit um, that, then I feel like it'll work a lot better. So yeah, um, gonna get rolling on my smoothie. It's about like six something it's like 6 30 ish right now um i got up at like 6 15 um and it's like 6 20 6 30 something like that now but yeah so um i'm gonna get rolling on my smoothie uh and my bible reading and all of that um and get this day started all right, so today with my smoothie, um, I'm going to be trying one of these suggestions that was left in the comments of different things to try. So uh, we're going to do things a little different today. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. All right, then. So here are my ingredients. This is the different thing than normal. We're using almond milk today. Um, kind of sketches me out a little bit. Um, never really liked the idea of almond milk, <laughs> um, but hey, you know, life is an adventure, you gotta try new things, and so, um, y'all said try it, so I'm gonna try it, we're gonna see how it works. <laughs> all right, it is all ready, and now we wait for everything to, uh, fall a wee bit, so that it'll blend easier in my, uh, weak blender. <laughs> yes. All right, the ingredients are ready for blending, let's do this. Now comes the moment of truth. Is it good or is it not good? It's interesting. Honestly, I didn't really expect to be able to taste much of a difference. Um, But it does taste a bit nutty. I can definitely taste that. But it's not bad. It's not bad. I can dig it. I can dig it. So, I would say that um, trying this was a success. I think it's pretty good. Not too bad. Uh, so, if you have any ideas for uh, what I should try in my smoothies, as long as it's not like a human foot, then um, let me know in the comments and, I, and I'll try it. All right, I have finished my smoothie and my Bible reading. Um, about to get rolling on, getting ready for work and rolling on out of here. Um, so my Bible reading today, what really jumped out at me is reading Acts chapter 12. We find that Herod's starting to, you know, kill and imprison 
um, the believers and everything. And so um, we see Peter sitting in jail, surrounded by all these guards, just chilling. And an angel shows up to break him out. And he's not even, he doesn't even realize that he's being broken in jail. He thinks he's just having a vision. Um, and so then finally he realizes, and, you know, he's all excited and everything, and he's able to get away. But what I find really interesting is kind of in the undertone of all of this, we see Peter not freaking out about having been arrested, you know? <clears throat> and, like, he's not sitting there being like, oh, God, you know, you, I did this for you, and, you know, you put me in this position, and how did I get here, and what is this, and I expect more of you, and blah, 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 blah. Um, he just is where he is. And I feel like this mindset comes all the way back to a few chapters back, um, like we talked about the other day, where <clears throat> um, the disciples have been, you know, arrested and then, you know, flogged and all of that, and they leave the meeting, you know, they leave that place and they are rejoicing at having been counted worthy to suffer persecution for the name of Jesus. And I love this, this concept of my life is not my own, and if I'm persecuted, then I identify with Jesus in that persecution, you know, and don't get me wrong, I'm not sitting here um, wishing that <clears throat> I could go to jail for Jesus. Like, I love the freedoms that I have in America to be able to post this video about and talk about Jesus and not have to worry about getting arrested because of it. You know, like, I love that. But I do, um, but I do want to develop in myself the same mindset that Peter had, uh, that if it were to come to that, then I'm not going to be freaking out about it. It's not going to be something that I have to think twice about of whether I'm willing to suffer persecution, you know, because Peter was sitting in jail. He was supposed to be killed the next day. Like that was the goal. He was going to be executed the next day. And he's, we don't see him freaking out. We don't see him yelling at God. He's just chilling. He's like, okay, if this is the end, this is the end. I roll on. My life is not my own. You know, I'm here for you. And if my time on this earth is complete, then I'll be with you in heaven. So what's the big deal? You know, <clears throat> and I just love that mindset. And it challenges me to um, cultivate that in myself. Um, so yeah, that's today. That's it for uh, getting out of bed with Micah. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and always remember that you are important, that you are valuable, that you matter, that Jesus loves you, and so do I, and I'll see you next time. Toodaloo. Bye.